morning everyone i am annapurna working as an assistant professor in the department of ece at institute of aeronautical engineering today we are going to study about wave analyzer what is the need of wave analyzers how can we use wave analyzers in our communication basic wave analyzer for example if you consider any complex waveform If you consider any complex waveform that consists of a fundamental wave and its harmonics, so now to find out the amplitude and frequency of a fundamental wave and its components or fundamental wave and its harmonics, it is necessary to study about each and every fundamental component and its harmonics. So that to discuss about or to analyze the performance of any complex waveform we are using this wave analyzers for example consider this wave in this waveform we have a fundamental and its harmonics now if you assume if you observe here the fundamental frequency or fundamental amplitude is different from the amplitude of its harmonics so in this case to find out the response of fundamental component and its harmonics it is necessary to use this wave analyzers wave analyzer is nothing but it analyzes the performance of a complex waveform which consists of fundamental components and its harmonics now coming to the basic wave analyzer it mainly consists of primary detector full wave rectifier and PMMC galvanometer. <coughs> primary detector. This primary detector includes LC tuned circuit and full wave rectifier PMMC meter. This is the block diagram of wave basic wave analyzer. If you observe the same with the help of these components, this is primary detector and LC tuned circuit and this is full wave rectifier and this is galvanometer which is used to measure the readings or it will be acting as a meter. So initially we have a primary detector and our LC tuned circuit. The main purpose of LC tuned circuit is to tune to a particular frequency. How can we get the fundamental frequency means by varying either inductance or capacitance. We can choose a particular frequency at that particular frequency. For example, by varying this capacitance value, we are choosing a particular frequency of 1 kilohertz. Now, at that 1 kilohertz, the magnitude of wave or RMS value of the input signal can be obtained with the help of full wave rectifier. And finally, this full wave rectifier will convert pulse AC component into pulsating DC. And then finally, the DC voltage is measured with the help of PMMC meter. This is basic wave analyzer. So, here by varying capacitance value, we get different frequencies. For example, in the first instant, we get the frequency response at 1 kilohertz. After that, if you vary the capacitance value, then frequency is shifted from 1 kilohertz to 2 kilohertz. Like that, each and every time by varying the capacitance value, we choose a particular frequency. Now, at that particular frequency, we find out the magnitude of incoming signal with the help of full wave rectifier. Here in this full wave rectifier, we can find out the RMS value also. Now, the DC voltage is finally measured in PMMC meter. This is basic wave analyzer. So, the Wave analyzers are used to find out the performance of any wave at low frequency or at high frequency. Normally, these wave analyzers are used at audio frequency that is from 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz. 20 so that <laughs> within the given audible frequency range, find out the performance of any 
to find out the performance of any particular frequency we are using this wave wave analyzers these wave analyzers are mainly classified into two types first one is frequency selective wave analyzer and second one is super heterodyne wave analyzer coming to the frequency selective wave analyzers it is used for low frequencies or audio frequency whereas super heterodyne wave analyzers are used at rf signal frequencies so finally if you use any wave analyzer the main purpose is it find out the performance of performance at one particular frequency or it analyze the performance at a particular frequency and this is the block diagram representation of frequency selective wave analyzer if you observe the block diagram of frequency selective wave analyzer it consists of an input signal attenuator driver amplifier high q filter emitter range attenuator output amplifier meter circuit and output buffer finally we obtain the auxiliary output so what is the need of using this driver amplifier and input attenuator is if you want to find out the frequency response at one particular frequency so that if you transmit the entire input signal we may get clear. it is if you want to transmit if you want to transmit the entire input signal we won't get the output properly so that at the in initial stage itself we are using attenuator to avoid the noise and only required amount of input signal will be passing through the attenuator and driver amplifier is used to amplify the input signal that is it is used to strengthen the input signal and then that is passing through high q filter in this high q filter we have a combination of rc circuits so this is the frequency selective wave analyzer representation initially we are applying the input signal the input signal is passing through this attenuator section here we are using narrow band pass filter as we are using narrow band pass filter it it allow only particular input signal frequency through the input section and the remaining all other frequencies will be rejected at the same time at the initial stage itself we are using attenuator it attenuates unwanted signal only the required amount of input signal will be passing through this next section and the next section is driver amplifier it driver amplifier not only amplify the input signal it gives whatever the output we have obtained across this section that is given to high q filter in this high q filter we have combination of rc network or there exists two rc networks which are cascaded together as the rc network is included in this high q filter by varying this capacitance value we get it will allow a particular band of frequencies through this high q filter here we are using low pass filter as we are using low pass filter it allows only low frequency signals and rejects all high frequency signals it allows only low frequency signals and rejects all high frequency signals whenever the input signal is passing through the first stage of rc network it filters the input signal only particular band of input signal will be allowed after that again tuned with the help of next rc network by passing it through cascaded combination of two rc networks only low pass low frequency signals will be allowed and all other high frequency signals will be rejected and finally that particular low frequency signal is passing through meter range attenuator and finally the output readings will be given to amplifier this strengthen the input signal the magnitude of the input signal will be strengthened and output readings will be displayed on the meter amplifier and detector at the same time the output coming from this filter amplifier after amplification that is given to the buffer also in this buffer is nothing but whatever the input we are giving to the buffer it produces as it is in the output section so to detect the output in the output section or to represent the magnitude of the signal we are using this meter at the same time 
in secondary condition to get the axillary output we are using this buffer in this section frequency selective wave analyzer with the help of filters we are the input signal frequency is allowed for low frequency signals and all other high frequency signals are rejected so that it is applicable for audio frequency range only so a frequency selective wave analyzer the name itself indicates that we are using a particular frequency that particular frequency will be obtained with the help of a filter in this section the high q filter we are using is a low pass filter as we are using low pass filter it allows only low frequency signals and rejects all other high frequency signals this is called as frequency selective wave analyzer as it allows only a low frequency signal on that particular frequency of incoming signal will be analyzed and its magnitude will be observed in meter range at the same at the same time its magnitude will also be obtained from the axillary output condition also so this frequency selective wave analyzer is mainly used to represent the output for low frequency signals similarly to get the output for or to analyze the response of a frequency for radio frequency signals we are using super heterodyne receivers in this super heterodyne receivers instead of using these filters in super heterodyne receivers we are using mixers with the help of mixers at both transmitter section and at the receiver section the input signal will be mixed with the local oscillator frequency finally we get intermediate frequency signal that intermediate frequency signal consists of high frequency signal so that that is amplified and then finally obtained in the output section from this we can observe that frequency selective wave analyzers are used to operate at a particular frequency that is also low frequency here if you observe here this high q filter mainly consist of rc network in this rc network r is mainly used to vary the r is varied for controlling the frequency similarly the capacitance c is varied for frequency multiplication so to obtain a particular frequency we can vary resistance value similarly for frequency multiplication is nothing but to get for example in the first case if you obtain the frequency response of 1k next the multiplication factor of 2 if you consider 2k 4k 8k 16k like that to get the frequency response of a particular frequency we can vary the capacitance value so by choosing proper resistance and proper capacitance values in frequency selective wave analyzer we can find out the frequency response of an incoming signal so this is about frequency selective wave analyzer this frequency selective wave analyzer is mainly used only at af frequency audio frequency once again observe the basic wave analyzer this wave analyzers are mainly used to find out the frequency response of a complex wave for example if you consider this is the input signal if this is the input signal means the amplitude is fixed at two intervals that is plus 2 volts to minus 2 volts we can find out the frequency response very easily because the entire wave having same characteristics for one cycle if you observe the characteristics of wave for n number of cycles the characteristics are same but if you consider a complex wave that complex wave consists of fundamental free component and its harmonics so if you consider any complex wave that complex wave each fundamental frequency and its harmonics having different amplitudes so that to find out the frequency response it is necessary to measure the frequency response of a fundamental component and its harmonics individually and finally we need to find out the frequency response of a complex waveform so that to find out the frequency response of this type of complex waveforms we are using this wave analyzers
not only to find out the frequency response of a complex waveform, we can also measure distortion caused by this complex waveform. If you want to find out the distortion caused by complex waveform, we need to add the distortion caused by the fundamental components at the same time the distortion caused by each and every harmonic. Finally, by adding all the distortions caused by fundamental and its harmonics, we will get the total distortion caused by a complex waveform. So, to find out the analysis of a distortion caused by a complex waveform, that is called as harmonic distortion analyzer. So, in this wave analysis, we are going to study about normal frequency response wave analysis at the same time harmonic distortion analysis also. It is used to not only find out the frequency frequency analysis, with the help of wave analysers we can also find out the distortion caused by a fundamental components and its harmonics. So, wave analysis Wave analysis represents not only frequency response at a particular frequency, it can also measure the distortion caused by a fundamental and its harmonics. So, the basic wave analyzer mainly consists of an LC primary detector, full wave rectifier and PMMC meter. If you represent the block diagram with the components, this is the Block diagram representation of basic wave analyzer. Here the primary detector itself consists of a LC components. By varying capacitance value, we can choose a particular frequency. At that particular frequency, the magnitude of in input signal at that particular frequency or the magnitude response at a particular frequency can be measured with the help of bridge rectifier and its RMS value also calculated with the help of bridge rectifier and finally we can measure the output readings by using PMMC galvanometer. This is basic wave analyzer and these are of two types. The basic wave analyzers are classified into two types, frequency selective wave analyzer and super heterodyne wave analyzer. The frequency selective wave analyzers are mainly used at low frequency and super heterodyne wave analyzers are used at high frequency. Already we have discussed about this frequency selective wave analyzer. By using a particular low pass filter, we can allow only low frequency signals and reject all high frequency signals so that at this low frequency a particular frequency of input signal will be analyzed and its output voltage is measured by using this meter range circuit. This is called as frequency selective wave analyzer. In the next session we will going to study about super heterodyne wave analyzers. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.